Hey, welcome back. Gary Brown forging on and uh, just if this is the uh, I'm actually fil videoing this on uh, December 31st of uh, 2021 Tomorrow I'll start January 1st of 2022 and so I hope everybody had a blessed year in the past and I wish you all the blessings for the years to come in the future even though according to the uh, movie trailer <laughs> For Soil and Green from back in 1970 something, I forgot when Soil and Green came out. But anyway, uh, they said it took supposed to supposed to take place in the year 2022. <clears throat> Just keep that in mind. So anyway, um, I just been real busy uh, the past few months. I haven't got any videos out. I guess I've got several. I've been trying to edit, but I've just been doing so many other things. I can't even get the editing done. Um, so you might see uh, some some videos come up either before or after this one uh, that actually took place earlier. I've just been back behind on my editing. It takes so long to edit stuff. But I'm going to be going into um, 2022 trying to do regular videos. I'm going to try to start uploading. Now that I'm out of uh, my evening welding class, I'm going to start trying to upload on a regular basis. Uh, something that I can maintain and still work my full-time job and still um, uh, have time to edit it and spend time with the family and just all that. And uh, so anyway, we'll see how this goes. This past uh, semester, one of the reasons I haven't been out in the shop much, and it is looking horrible, I just keep bringing stuff in and piling it and not putting it away like it needs to be put away. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time cleaning up in here before I can actually do anything. But uh, I've been taking this uh, evening welding class at the, the Tennessee College of Applied Technology. And they actually have, you know, day classes. You can go through a full two-year program and be, come out with, you know, certifications in welding, you know, machining, just all kind of things. And the place I was going to, the campus I was going to, they've got locations all over Tennessee, but the one I was going to in, in uh, Smyrna, um, which is right across from the Nissan plant, was... Uh, really beefed up. They had some a real nice welding shop, had like 25 or something, 24, 25 stations, all nice equipment. And uh, right across the hall was this huge, probably two, three times the size of the welding area, was this area just for a machine shop, training a machine shop. And um, everything was brand new over there. And they got some special rooms just for training Nissan employees that are going to be working on the line and stuff like that. So they got a lot going on in that building. But it was a good, it was a good class. Uh, like I said, I've I've um, I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but you know I've welded for since the mid 1980s, so whatever that's been, 35 years or something. I don't know. Um, I've been welding and learned on the job, for the job, and then um, later on I worked at a welding shop with myself through college, but I've always done stick and MIG. And as I've, like I said, said in previous videos, I've wanted to learn TIG before I buy a TIG machine. So hopefully I'll be able to buy a TIG machine sometime here in the near future. But I've always wanted to learn how to TIG before I bought the machine so I don't buy a machine and say, oh, I should have got this because I didn't know. So I took the classes. And uh, I started actually in the beginning of 2020, and it says these are semester long classes they do in the evening. I started taking, like I said, taking beginning of 2020, then COVID hit, and the pandemic, and they closed down the schools. And then the next semester I could go, they didn't have enough students to make a class in the evening. So they were able to make one this past semester. So uh, they let me go back in, and the instructor was, you know, really cool about it, and he let me um, go until I pretty much went till almost. I'm about the end, I guess, of the program. <clears throat> but I mainly worked on mild steel aluminum and stainless steel TIG welding. But I did a little stick welding just for the fun of it. Um, he had some, I saw some people were testing, doing bend tests. So I asked him if I could try to do a bend test. I've never tested any of my welds uh, all the years I've been welding. Uh, Everybody's I work never required testing. Of course, they didn't pay nothing either. But um, I just told him you know, he had a bunch of people, so I I cut out a couple coupons and welded them and did a bend test, and it passed, and it was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Um, in fact, uh, these are my my bend tests. And, um, 
no cracks either one one's um as you can tell by the way they were they were cut here um one of them is a um a, a root bend and one of them's a, a face bend and uh, it's all you know cut out of the same I, well the two coupons half inch thick weld them together with 70 18 rods with a backer plate round it all off and then uh, they had a hydraulic press and they just put them in there and bend one one way and one the other and uh, they passed not a mark on them so I was happy <clears throat> <laughs> my one and only welding test all these years so anyway um like i said I did i did that and i'm hoping to get back into uh the shop here i got to get things cleaned up really bad and i'm hoping to get some regular videos out um you'll probably like i said you'll probably see some that i've started on that i haven't finished editing and i'm hoping to get them um, edited now so they may come out after this but i've actually filmed them before this that kind of a thing i just got several in the works i got some that i got you know video so i'm shooting as i go but i haven't finished so i've still got to put it all together um i got to finish get back on my knife i was working on i got to start working on drilling getting the handle and ground and then i'll heat treat that and i'll do a little some more i've already had a couple videos of, of each step of that and I'm, I, i'll get the next one out soon i was just hoping to do it like every week but i just got so caught up especially with the holidays <clears throat> and everything else in my classes and just i just haven't had time so it's just one of those things and i'm working a full-time job and uh things just been hectic and then just taking care of things around the house it's been pretty busy um i could show you i got a Back in my pickup truck, I got a uh, very expensive used motor that's going in my daughter's car. Uh, I'm not putting it in. I'm, those kind of mechanic days are over for me. I, I'm getting too old and tired to crawl under cars and unbolt and bolt stuff in. So, mechanic from church uh, has his own, has a big mechanic shop here in our county that we live in, and he's going to put it in for me. I just got to take it over to him this week. That was something I had to deal with the last few weeks. I had to get that order. Then last week he came in, picked it up. And this next week, I got to take it to him so he can put it in. That's just one of the many things that had to go on. But <clears throat> some of the stuff I did was um, I welded these. <laughs> they these those are, are just thin uh, aluminum two inch by four inch coupons. And um, I, I want to probably grind this down. I, I did one in stainless steel, and then I took and I ground down all the edges nice and slick and smooth. So it's just like one big rectangular cube. In stainless steel and I've got it down in uh, my office down in the basement of my house I'm gonna have it up here yeah that well it actually came out pretty nice yeah some of them not so much oh, they're not too bad that one there's just a little bit worse <laughs> but uh, but most of them came out pretty good <laughs> that's with aluminum this was the first one I did, and it was coming out pretty good. And one thing um, learned about these is that um, <laughs> um, when you seal these up, the whole point was uh, the instructor said, seal this up and we'll see if it floats. And sure enough, you know, it floated. Of course, it's just aluminum, but it's, it's solid, no leaks, didn't leak any, floated in the water. But you get to the very end and uh, the pressure builds up inside and it would not i could not get this one that one looks horrible it just kept blowing out i'd get just about filled up and it would build up pressure and just like a volcano and just spew out right when i was at the very end and uh cover my tungsten and my my torch with aluminum and i had to go clean it all off grind all this down i mean this is like the third attempt i don't know why but this one here just would not close up. I probably, if I kept messing with that now, yeah, I'd probably get it. But <clears throat> I did this one second. It zipped right up. Go figure. But anyway, it's the first time I was trying to close up a cube ever in my life. And so this was a good learning experience. And uh, the other thing I learned is I need to, if I'm going to do any TIG welding, I need a, uh, a purge uh, purge block put underneath these things because... Uh, you can really, you know, especially on the stainless, you get a nice weld on the top and then you look overneath and be all the sugaring 
weld underneath it because it wouldn't it was this air getting to the bottom of the weld so it looks horrible on the back side but it looks good on the top so you know this is what you know you do when you're just you know you know an old mature welder you say what can i make out of some stainless two inch by four inch uh thin you know coupons well, i'll cut them down to two inch by two inch and i'll make a set of dice <laughs> <laughs> stainless steel dice <laughs> and uh but they zipped up and see on these here's where i uh i cleaned off the edges just like i did with that one i got in the basement that's just a rectangular uh cube well it's not a cube rectangular block <clears throat> they're hollow inside but if you looked inside them the wells look horrible just because of the sugaring underneath <clears throat> and uh, i didn't have a purge block and needed them but the same thing happened with these the first weld i would do would just blow a hole as soon as i start to get the puddle going to put a little daub it'd blow a hole and i would try to fill it and then go to another one it'd blow a hole so what i did is i just let it blow the hole did all the other dots all the way around i even looked i even looked at the nerd in me you know i looked up uh, uh for the exact pattern on uh on my phone and made sure I, I had it you know exactly laid out just like they're supposed to be you know so that they all add up there's five on one side two on the other so they always add up to seven and they're in the right locations on there so just like an official dice so uh <clears throat> so i did that but then i just went ahead and welded them all up and then i uh i whatever the hole was i think it might have been this here one in the center i just came back and and plugged it up then and you might be able to see the the kind of bronzy color around the edge of it it was all that color it all kind of had a bronze color to it <clears throat> and those are um those come in you can see a little bronze around that one <clears throat> but i i took and and you know wire brushed these and kind of cleaned them up a little bit but that that bronzy look comes from the argon gas um, going around it it does that coloring weird stuff to it so Anyway, that's what I did. Anyway, I got a big mess here. I got a, I got all this stuff I got to put find a home for now, and I, I don't want to turn this thing around. I got just piles of stuff everywhere. But I'm going to do some different things here in the shop. I've got, um, um, I was given one welding tarp to hang up, and then I got, I bought um, one of these yellow ones like they had at the, uh, they had these at the at the class at the school I was welding around the you know the back of you and so I'd made a I made a metal you know trifold um, guard so I could pull it around since I got wood and everything else in here going on every time I'm grinding I'm catching stuff on fire or have the wrist catching on fire so I made this metal trifold thing to come around I think I even had a video way early on about about it I can't remember it's it'd be one of my earlier videos years ago and then um I'm going to cut it apart and get rid of it because uh, it just gets locked behind stuff and I can't get it out and then it, and so I don't ever use it. So it's just taking up space. So I'm going to get rid of that. So anyway, so we'll get back on schedule now. I just want to wish everybody a happy new year coming up. Hope you have a blessed year. Y'all stay safe. And um, I'll get back on a regular schedule here and we'll uh, keep things rolling. Y'all take care and we'll see you next year tomorrow. Bye-bye.